Hey, welcome back to Anxiety Kitchen. Uh, this week we are making Macapona salad. My best friend Mark, his mom makes it all the time for whatever special occasion. It's always there and you know, oh, it's, it's my favorite. Like I always get super excited about it. Um, so when I knew I was gonna have to do something for the Philippines, I was like, I already know what I'm making. I'm not even gonna do research. I already know what I'm making. Um, so I'm excited, a little nervous, because I really don't want to want, I, well, I mean, I know what's in it, but like, you know, I don't want to know the calories. Don't tell me the calories, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's fairly simple. There is absolutely zero cooking involved. Honestly, the hardest part of the whole freaking thing was finding the ingredients, because I went to H Mart thinking that they would have it no problem and they didn't at all um i only found one of the ingredients there and that was fruit cocktail which i mean technically you could get that at walmart if you wanted to i'm not completely mad at it because if i had found everything at h mart then i never would have found um global foods which oh my god like kid in a candy shop there, there's so much, just so much of everything. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm like, I'm never going back to H Mart. Ever. Nope, I'm done. I have, I have broken up. It's, it's not me, it's you. I'm excited to try some of these, like, individually. Um, like this one, uh, Nada de Coco, is a coconut gel, which I'm very familiar with because Mark's mom uses it. Um, it's such a weird texture, like, I don't know. I love it though. I need to open up my cans, uh, fruit cocktail and the palm seed fruit. Drain those and then I have of heavy cream, uh, the recipe calls for all-purpose cream. Could not find that anywhere. Not even at Global Foods. Uh, but it did say that heavy cream could be used instead. So, I have my heavy cream and I have 8 ounces of room temperature cream cheese. I'm gonna mush those together. And then we can start adding everything else to it. And stir it up see what happens. Okay, I got everything drained. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around so that I can actually film everything, but um, this is the, the palm fruit. It's the weirdest texture I've ever seen. Like, the syrup was quite thick. I drained it all out, but like, I just want to try it, but I'm a little bit afraid to try it. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is. Doesn't really have like a lot of flavor. It's softer than I thought it would be. What? I don't know what that is. Okay, cool. For the macapuno, uh, you're supposed to add the entire can. Don't drain it, nothing. Um, oh my gosh, so good. Okay. Oh, that was lovely. <laughs> I'm 
get my Capono in balls or strips. Um, I chose to get strips because I wanted to. Plus everything else is kind of like either cubed up or quasi ball shape anyway, so why not be a little different? I don't know that my bowl is big enough. Now to add everything else. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. So my wife didn't know what this was. She'd never heard of it. She didn't have a best friend named Mark whose mom made it. <laughs> um, and the closest thing that I could come to is, which probably horrible, but um, I called it like the Filipino Watergate salad. <laughs> Um, just because, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, it's like a, just a mixture of a lot of different stuff. Like there's no, and everyone has a different version of it. Um, this isn't Mark's mom's recipe. Um, this is just one that I happened to find on the internet and, uh, I mean, it looks about right. I'm just gonna stir this and then we're gonna let it chill for a little bit and then give it a try. We have been chilling, so moment of truth. That's pretty good. I think maybe Mark's mom adds more pineapple. So I might get some pineapple and add to it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Want to try it? There's a lot of texture, so don't freak out. Mm. That is confusing and delicious. Right? Yeah. See what we're gonna do next week. this is <laughs> Singapore uh, me I have to look that up see what it is hope you guys had a good Christmas slash holiday slash Hanukkah slash Kwanzaa slash whatever. Yule. Happy Yule. Um, yeah. I won't see you guys until the new year, which is exciting. Um, it's crazy to think that it's almost here. Um, yeah. I'll see you next year, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Give it. Easy open cap my ass.